Hi, it's uh, Greg at abloomandaddiction.com. It's mid-May and we're looking at a bed of uh, Sip Regine that was planted out last October. In the fall, we usually ship the largest uh, rhizomes that we get and the smaller rhizomes are planted out and grown on um, for another year. We've taken a few Sip Regine out of this bed and moved them into our gardens. So there's a little bit of space. So we're gonna put one into the ground. Um, this is a smaller one, a single eye Regine. Um, what uh, we're gonna do is we're gonna plant this. So people who would pick up, we get a lot of people come and pick up at this time of year, would get one potted. So we're just gonna make a space, gonna loosen up the soil here. make a little hole. You notice the earth is nice, nice and loose, dark rich soil. Excavate this out. Okay. So we take the pot you can cut it with a garden shears if you want to open it up. I usually just put my hands over the top like that. Just give it a gentle turn. Check it for depth. It's a little bit high. Take a little bit of soil out. Tamp the soil in. Add a little bit. Just gently, don't push too hard. We want it nice and loose. If the soil breaks away from the plant when you pot it, just make sure it's planted at the same depth that it was as it was in the pot. And that's relatively undisturbed. If the soil falls away from the plant, that's okay. Just uh, gently tamp the soil down around it and water it into place. And that's it. We're good to go.